Hey everyone, Will Irish here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can publish a dark post or an unpublished post, and in doing so, I'm going to reveal one of the cool changes that Facebook just came out with that could really increase your click-through ratio and certainly any sales that any offers you might be running. So I'll try to make this as quick as possible, but I know it's in Power Editor, so I want to be thorough in how I explain things. So let's start with what is a dark post, just so we're we're all in the same playing field. A dark post is basically attached to your fan page, but it's not visible to your fan page, thus the word dark. It's also synonymous with an unpublished post. That's what Facebook calls it, an unpublished post. So a lot of people say, Will, why would you ever want to promote or why would you want to create a dark post, something that's unpublished? And the answer is varied, but for the most part, the biggest reason why is oftentimes you just don't want to over-advertise to your fans. You don't want that advertising fatigue to kick in for all of your loyal subscribers and fans. And doing a dark post allows you to basically advertise in whatever advertisement that you're doing off your fan page and send people that are future prospects to other offers and other websites and it allows you just to repeat offers without you know, again creating that advertising fatigue to your current fans so that's one of the primary reasons people do it now I'm in power editor which is where you need to do it and I want to show you exactly how you can use this but again there's something I'm going to reveal in this video that is probably going to change the way you do posts from now on because I'm going to suggest anytime you do a link share, you know, where you're posting a link, even if you're not necessarily promoting it right away, if you're posting some sort of a, a post that has a link going somewhere, I want to show you why I think you'll probably end up going into Power Editor and creating that little bit of trouble to do just that. Now, I know that's probably foreign to you right now, but here, allow me to present my case. So, first thing I want you to do, obviously, once you're in Power Editor, it's a Chrome extension, you have to be in Chrome, is go ahead and select Manage Pages. If you don't manage the page, you can't create this post, so you have to be a page manager to create a dark post. So, once you're there, uh, you select the page that you want to go ahead and attach this to. So, I'm on 434 Social, and now I just need to go ahead and hit create post. Now what happened here is I've just opened a dialog to create an unpublished post as you can see. This is that dark post and there's several different types of posts that you can do. You can do a link, you can do photo, a video, a status, or an offer. You can do any of these as an unpublished post. And what I'll do is I'll walk you through the form and I'll show you each one of these uh, if, as we fill it in for one of the ads that I'm going to run. And along the way, I'll show you that cool new feature that Facebook just really rolled in over the past few days. So I have a little text document here. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my URL. This is the obvious destination URL that I want my link to go to. So when people click on my advertisement, this is the link I would want them to go see. This is my 22 social uh, page for subscription. So I want to go ahead and make sure that that's in there. Next we have our post text. Now take a look at this. Just like a post in your fan page, you can have an awful lot of text in there. If you think about from an ad manager perspective, you can only fit a few characters in what they allow you to do an ad manager. For, but for a post here, we can actually fit all of those characters in and you can see that we can expand it out. You see just how much information you can include. Now there will probably be about six or seven lines and then you'll get the little see more drop down, but that's fine. I, I want to educate along with the advertisement. Now here is where that cool feature really comes in to play. Now I can see you reading it already, but let me explain why this is so important. I hope I have your attention because this is why it counts. Now most of you that have promoted posts, even ones that you put through your main fan page, not through Power Editor, let's say you just went ahead and uploaded a post and you wanted to promote that post, many of you have suffered from the click-through rate uh, being a little bit skewed. Here's what I mean. If you're trying to send people a link over to a website and you're doing a link share, you know, with a nice photo in there, oftentimes what you will do is you'll do a pay a cost per click, a cost per click. So you only pay when people click on your ad. And when they click on your ad, they of course would what? 
go over to your offer page. That's the way it's set up. But we all know that it's not always what happens. What happens generally is, if you think about a promoted post, there's a couple areas people could click on. First of all, you have the text itself. In this text here, you might include a link in there, but it might be at the lower end of it. Who knows? But the point is, in the text area, they might click on it. Um, the second point is the picture itself, which is the largest part of your link share. In the picture, that's great. If they click on your picture, they're going to go over to your offer. And then there's a little hyperlink as well in there, a small one. But if they click on it, again, they're going to go over to your offer as well. But there's also other options on the page which scream for people to click on. And those are what? the like, the share, and the comment right at the very bottom of the post. So if you've ever promoted a post, you'll always see the like, comment, and share buttons. It's like we're all, we're all used to on Facebook. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, when you're doing a cost per click, it's a big deal because you pay for every time someone clicks on your ad, not just when they click on the right area to go to your advertisement. But if somebody clicks on the like button, they're not going to your destination URL. They might just like the picture that you posted. They might just like the text or agree with what you wrote in your advertisement. So when you talk about cost per click, they could click on your somebody viewing your ad. They could click on the share button. They could click on the comment button. They could click on the like button, but they don't necessarily go or ever see your advertisement. The other thing is, is they could click on the header or your logo, your logo area of your fan page. If they click on that, they're going to go to your fan page. So again, they may not see your offer. The only two ways they will see your offer on a link share post, on a promoted post, is if they click on the picture itself or they click on the hyperlink section. That's it. Those are the only ways they're going to go over and see your offer. Now, they're likely ways, but they're not foolproof. And the reason for that is there's no obvious winner to a user when they're reading your advertisement. Meaning, Facebook really frowns upon you putting fake buttons in there. So if you have a button that says click me, but it's not really a button, Facebook's probably going to deny you and say, hey, that's deceptive practice. You don't want your button in there. Your ad's been de you know, declined. Uh, if you tried to put a video kind of play button, that's a common one out there. Again, Facebook looks at that as a deceptive ad practice, and they won't approve your advertisement. So there was no real cl clear winner for your mouse to land on until now. As you can see, when you go in through the dark post or this unpublished page area, you now have a... CTA, a call to action button. And there are one, two, three, four, five different options here that you can select from. Download, book now, sign up, learn more, shop now. So if you want to add a button, this is great news for you. This will really help to make sure that when you advertise, when you're paying for a click, that people are now drawn to a certain button to click on. And what makes it even better is you have that real congruency, right? You have that congruency from the look and feel of the ad to the look and feel of a Facebook button. You know, it's not some wannabe graphic designer with a whole bunch of red buttons yelling all over click here it looks really professional so I'll show you exactly what that will look like and I'll also show you why this matters even if you're not running an advertisement so right now let me go ahead and select learn more since I'm sending people to the 22 social app let me go ahead and select that we're gonna go back over to my advertisement okay and so now what I need is the link headline and then the link headline we're just gonna grab this right here and we're going to grab that and put it right in the link headline area. Again, what's really cool about that is you don't necessarily need it to be the HTTP colon and make it look like a real link. It'll go ahead and make that bold and um, nice and uh, kind of bold and beautiful, if you will, to make this a nice link. So it kind of stands out a little bit more. And it allows you to be descriptive as well. 
and the display link, what I just put in right underneath that is a little bit more of an opportunity for you to sell on exactly why they should click on that. And the final thing here is just the description itself. And if you've ever seen a YouTube video shared on Facebook, over to the right hand side, you see the little gray text. There's this description there. That's kind of what this is. It's a little description next to the video or next to the photo in this case. Um, and again, I would tend to keep this short, even though you know you could expand this out and write a lot of things it's probably going to get cut off especially if you were to use one of those right hand side ads I would recommend that you keep it as short as possible okay so the only thing left to do in this case is to upload an image so let me go ahead and grab one of my images and we'll just go ahead and upload this right onto the server we'll go with this image here so now I've got that captured on there. And then the final thing here is this last radio button, right? It says this post will only be used as an ad. That's what it's defaulted to. But then you have another option. This post will be published on the page. Now that's interesting. This post will be published on the page because you can do that with an unpublished post or a dark post you can also make it visible and then let people on your page see it as well. So I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. So go ahead and hit create post. So now it's creating that post for me and it will, it'll keep it right here. Now when I go ahead and highlight it, we'll actually take a look at it. You can see it's got the little half moon. So that lets you know it's a dark post, it's not published. And this is exactly what it looks like. So you can see my logo, it's got the name of the fan page, and you can see the see more to drop down to get more of the text. You see the great image and then look at this. Isn't this great? So this is your link here and this is the little link description. You have your like, your comment and your share button. But now you have a clear winner in my book on exactly where you should be clicking on and it's built right into your image. I love it. It looks phenomenal. It looks professional. It looks very clean and again it's just a clear winner for your mouse magnet so it makes you want to click on that area and learn more. I mean that's a great call to action. That's something that has very positive connotation and who, who doesn't want to learn more, especially about my amazing offers. So when you think about this, why you would do this, this makes a lot of sense in terms of making sure that your ads not only get clicked, but clicked in the right area. Because you can click on the like button, you can click on the comment, that'll cost you. So Facebook does win there, but they might not end up at your destination. Hopefully what they'll do is they'll click right on your call to action and you'll be in good shape. Now, so you've created this dark post. Now, you, in order to create this into an unpublished post ad, you would hit create ad. If I did that, it would open up this into the normal power editor ad filter so you can choose your demographics. But I also talked to you at the very beginning of this video that I think you'll want to be coming into Power Editor for these few seconds of action to do all of your posts and here's why. Because if you just go right up here right now, as I mentioned a moment ago, you can hit publish post and make this visible. So right now if you go over to 434 social, you can see there's no there's nothing posted there. But if I go ahead and I click publish post right now, look what happens. I can publish it immediately. And when I do that, um, one very important thing to remember about Power Editor, you know, Power Editor, at the beginning of everything, it's good to download all the changes. At the end, you want to upload changes. So one way to think about Power Editor is kind of like, an offline maintenance zone, okay? So think of it kind of like FileZilla if you're familiar with hosting. If you're not, just think of it as a work zone where you can work on things and when you're done, you want to re-upload them and put it back. Kind of like taking a, a painting off of its hook and downloading it down to your level and, and dusting it off and then going ahead and uploading it back onto the wall so it's there on display best way I could do to give you some sort of a metaphor for why you're downloading and uploading. You're just making sure that Facebook has the latest changes and updates to everything because again, Power Editor is actually a Chrome plugin. So that's why you have to be in Chrome. So when I go ahead and click upload changes, what happens? 
the post goes live on the wall and sure enough when you go back to 434 social and we hit reload here you will see this now published on my wall but what's really cool about this and I'll say it one more time is you now have captured that call to action button on there so some people might not see the great deal on this those of you that have been marketing a long time will know how cool of a hack that really is because that does drive performance when you have a call to action button but in particular one that you have done within Facebook and Facebook's actually created that button for you how much better is that so now there's a clear winner they know exactly what to do with this so now as you promote this post further you can promote it you know now or whenever you desire you can go ahead and promote it and it will have that captured in there if you started right from the page and you uploaded a post of your own if you go back to another post um, for example if you take this post this post here we would have just shared the ad and that's it it would have been done there would have been no call to action so the only way people would have read this advertisement it wasn't an advertisement it was a story about Google but if you click on this or you click on this you'll go over to the page but if you click on any of the text again you're not going anywhere if I click on like you're not going anywhere so as this gets a little bit more viral and you're paying for performance and you're paying per click you want to make sure that that click is on your call to action button because that's where you're sending people to your offer so I hope that makes sense to you I hope that encourages you to want to at least go into power editor and give it a shot it's not hard you can actually play pause and implement exactly what I did I showed you exactly what to do there's no hidden agenda there just find your way through it get familiar with a minimum this unpublished post category and get familiar with what it would look like to get your own call to action captured on your page post so that you can promote and have that included in there so Hope you found this helpful. Uh, I hope this wasn't too wordy, and I hope I spoke slow enough. But if I didn't, hey, rewind and start from the beginning. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.